Hello, good day everyone. Welcome back once again. In our today's video, we're going to lambertize a very serious matter here. We have 2 to the power of x plus 3x equals 6 and I'm very sure most of us are very familiar with this kind of equation. This equation is indeed a transcendental equation, right? Okay, in our today's video, let us lambertize a serious issue, just like I said earlier. And here we're going to start from the left we have 2 to the power of x plus 3x this equals 6 okay now let us make the right hand side the left hand side and the left hand side the right hand side and that will not change this equation right so from the right we have 6 then this equals from the left 2 to the power of x plus 3x now, remember this 3x is positive, so if it's crossing over, it will become negative, right? So we have here 6 minus 3x, this equals 2 to the power of x. Remember from here, 3 is common, so we're going to factor out 3, and we're left with 2 minus x, then this equals 2 raised to the power of x. Okay, so from here, let us divide both sides by 2 to the power of x times 3. I have reason for that. So that will be divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 and here divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3. So look at the reason here. This 3 will cancel this 3. This 2 to the power of x will cancel this 2 to the power of x. So we can see that anything involving x, whether the power or the coefficient is at the left hand side and the constants or numbers are at the right hand side right so here we have 2 minus x divided by 2 to the power of x this equals 1 divided by 3 so you can see the great transformation now right okay now let us take note of this 1 divided by a to the power of m this is same as a to the power of negative m right so from here, this will be 2 minus x raised to the power of 2, sorry, I mean multiplied by 2 to the power of negative x, this equals 1 divided by 3. Okay, so from here, we're trying to make the power of 2 here to be equal with the coefficient of these two with a power of negative x. So what do we do from here? Let us take note that when we have a to the power of m, and we're multiplying by a to the power of n, since the bases are equal, we can just you can just add the powers, right? So what happens when we multiply both sides by two to the power of two? So let's see, two minus x times two to the power of negative x, then multiply by two to the power of two. This will be equal to one all over three multiplied by two to the power of two. So from here, making use of this property here, we can add these powers, right? So we have here 2 minus x times 2 to the power of negative x plus 2 is same as 2 minus x. Then this equals 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 1 over 3 is 4 divided by 3. So we can see that the power of 2 here is exactly with the coefficient, right? But here, let us make use of this nice and interesting property a is same as e to the power of a ln of a when a has a power of b then this will be e to the power of b multiplied by the ln of a so from here we have 2 minus x then this will be e raised to the power of 2 minus x multiplied by the ln of 2 then this equals 4 divided by 3 right Okay, now we're going to make use of the lambda w function. Let us take note that the lambda w function will be following argument x times e to the power of x. Since the power of e here and the coefficient are equal, this simplifies to x. But we can't use this right now because the power of e here and the coefficient are not equal, right? The only difference is that 2 minus x is being multiplied by natural log of 2. But here, nothing like natural log of 2 here. So what do we do? Let us multiply both sides by the natural log of 2. Right? 
and from here we can make use of the lambda w function right so first of all here we have 2 minus x multiplied with natural log of 2 then times e to the power of 2 minus x multiplied with natural log of 2 then this equals 4 divided by 3 multiplied with natural log of 2 so let us lambdatize both sides of this equation so from the left here make use of this so this will simplify to 2 minus x multiply with natural log of 2 then this equals the top bu of 4 divided by 3 multiply with natural log of 2 divide both sides by the natural log of 2 here by the natural log of 2 this cancel this we have 2 minus x equals the w of 4 divided by 3 multiplied with natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 2. So from here to solve for x, x equals 2 minus w of 4 over 3 multiplied with natural log of 2, then divided by the natural log of 2. And this is approximately equal to 1.2222. Eight one right then eight three seven and this is the right answer thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my channel also like comment and share bye bye